and I think Twitter indexes very strongly on just being quite negative and critical. Yeah. Um, it's not, you know, I think that that's sort of the design. It's not that the designers wanted to make people feel bad. I think they wanted to have like maximum kind of intense debate, right? Which, and I think that that, that sort of creates a certain emotional feeling and load. And I always just thought you could create a discussion experience that, um, that wasn't quite so negative or, or toxic. And, um, and I think in doing so, it would actually be more accessible to a lot of people. I think a lot of people just don't want to use an app where they come away feeling bad all the time, right? I think that there's a certain set of people will either tolerate that because it's their job to get that access to information or they're just warriors <laughs> in that way. Yeah. Right? They, like, they want to be a part of that kind of intellectual combat. Yeah. But I just I don't think that that's the ubiquitous thing. Right. I think the, the ubiquitous thing is like people want the... They want to get fresh information. I think there's a place for text-based, right? Even even when the world is you know moving towards richer and richer forms of of sharing and, and consumption, I think text isn't isn't going away. It's still going to be a big thing. 